What is up, YouTube? Good to get here back out of the My League Perfect Trade Challenge Rebuild. And today it is with the Los Angeles Clippers trying to win year one. Now, this one shouldn't be too difficult. We have two 90 overall players. I, I will try to trade for a rumored player that is rumored with the los angeles clippers because there is there's a lot of them there's a lot of them but before the video starts make sure to drop that like subscribe if you are new but let's get to it multiple multiple point guards are linked to the clippers which it makes sense uh, uh the i guess the big name one would be lonzo ball i've seen terry terry rosier out there i've seen ricky rubio i've seen jeff teague from the celtics I've seen a lot, a lot of point guards linked to the Clippers, which makes sense. You trade for a point guard, uh, a better actual point than Patrick Beverly, and you try to keep Lou Will off the bench and stuff like that, but I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. There was also another different one linked to the Clippers here which was none other than a guy that was uh, that, that's in the trade rumors as well himself, Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond to the Clippers. What I saw the proposed deal was, I believe it involved Pat Bev. I believe it was Pat Bev. I believe this was the proposed trade, but of course, I don't want to give up too much depth, so I'm going to try to finesse them for Drummond. Um, I'll give him Ivica since we are getting a center right back. It makes sense. That would probably be kind of the bigger piece. They get another young center. Yeah, their their future center would be Jared Allen. They would still have JaVale, but I mean, Jared Allen, 22, and then they get two young, two young centers. Two young centers to build around if they want to. I'm going to try to keep Lou because we still need some kind of guard, right? Unless they are willing to give part ways with a point guard or something out here. But I don't think they'd give us Darius Garland. Um, so we got to keep a point. We got to keep a point or we're screwed. Reggie Jackson's still out here. Uh, they got the hell that shooting guard now. But do I get rid of Luke Kennard? What do I have to get Pat? Pat, is that enough? No, we would acquire $1 million more. Is anybody else making quite a bit of money that I could trade away? All right, I am uh, from the other trades that I was looking at, including the the rumored uh, point guard trades for Ricky Rubio, for Terry, for Jeff Teague. I like bringing in an 84 overall drum in the most. Uh, I'm going to see if I can bring in JaVale as well, just to have a bench, another bench piece that is not horrible. Um, we won't we literally won't have a point guard. I guess we got to run Reggie Jackson at the one, which uh, is not the end of the world, but also I kind of hate it. Also, I kind of hate it, but we got to do one of these rumored ones. I'm not going to go out there. I like doing the rumored trades. I like doing the rumored trades because it's kind of semi-realistic, even though rumors at the same time, a lot of them are wild. A lot of them are super wild, but we're going with this one. I can't steal away Garland from them. Plus, I don't think they'd get rid of them. So I'm going for two centers, two of the guys that most likely are trade candidates for the Cavaliers. And uh, we got to give up this. We got to give up this. I don't think I could give up anything else. I'm going to keep Luke Kennard, I guess. And we go from there. Or do I trade Luke Kennard just because? I'll trade Luke Kennard just because. <laughs> just because we can. And I could have an actual semi-point guard slash shooting guard in Lou Will. Will this go through? It will not. We don't even have... Do we have first rounders? What worse? Do they throw in more first rounders for this? I will throw in a second. And then I'll probably throw in Lou Will as well. See if it goes through um, instead of Luke Kennard, since he is a higher overall. There he is, Lou Will. Still not happening. They don't want to give up Drummond. It makes a lot of sense. Time for some first. Time for some first with Luke Kennard, just because I want to make this trade happen. Since it is a rumored trade, even though Drummond's probably rumored to go with a lot of teams. Um, there it is. There it is. There you guys have it. A first rounder, a second rounder. Did I want to give those up? Absolutely not. But I had to make the trade go through some, somehow, some way without turning on trade override, of course. Uh, Pat Bav, Ivica, Luke Kennard. That's a lot of depth for a guy that hopefully can get us 15 rebounds. Not only in the regular season, but in the playoffs against tough teams. The good thing is we kept Lou Will in that. We did trade Lou Kennard. So technically, they got two young pieces in Lou Kennard and Ivica. They're gathering more young assets as we get ourselves a Drummond. I will make Ibaka the power forward so our starting lineup will look... Our starting lineup will look kind of deadly, but our bench is the issue. Here we are, one trade and one trade only. Um, and then after this, of course, I'll make some moves to see. I mean, if we don't win, if we don't win, if we do win, perfect trade, complete video over. We don't win. We go again another season until we do win. And here it is. Lou Will at the one, not off the bench. Paul George at the two. 
Kawhi Leonard at the small forward spot, Ibaka at the power forward spot, Drummond at the center spot. Like I said, the starting lineup, pretty deadly looking. Uh, Marcus Morris Sr. as the power forward off my bench, the sixth man. JaVale McGee, the seventh man. The uh, Batum moved back to small forward because he was a power forward, small forward combo, but we already have a lot of power forward, small forward combos. Marcus Morris, power forward in Ibaka. Uh, Kawhi Leonard could go move over to power forward as well, so why not just leave him at small forward? Reggie Jackson, shooting guard, point guard. Coming in off the bench, hopefully not horrible. And uh, here we are. Here we are. I like the squad. We play physical defense. And we go see the system proficiency. If anything is better balanced, it looks like we're running balanced. Looks like we're running balanced, even though, shoot, defense even looks good. Besides Lou Will, besides Lou Will being absolutely not happy, do we run seven seconds? Or balance. Balance. Drummond does not look happy. Lou Will doesn't look that happy. Seven seconds. I think a lot of you were going seven seconds playing physical defense. Tyron Lou. And then and then this this squad. This squad. I like I like the squad. I'm not mad at it. Well, we have a an, an elite rebounder now to actually challenge uh, any any team. Any team rebounding wise. Season number one. Will it be enough? Where will we finish in the regular season? Hopefully one or two hopefully one or two we have great defenders in paul george and Kawhi leonard Ibaka will do his share as well we'll go out here we'll go out here and win a championship year one with one trade involving andre drummond 67 wins for the los angeles clippers in year one power rank one conference rank one we should have a great chance of winning a championship here of course we'll have some tough opponents uh considering lakers the lakers are still out here the lakers gotta still be out here Giannis is the mvp 30 and 15 Lamelo rookie of the year six man spencer dinwiddie Giannis defensive player most improved chris boucher and of course we get coach of the year 67 and 15 executive of the year as well all nba team we're gonna have one guy right i know we'll have defensive team okay Kawhi. i was i was waiting i was waiting i'm like where's Kawhi? Kawhi's got to be out here defensive paul george no Kawhi on the first team he is on the second team drummond's on there as well so three three all defensive team we're ready we are absolutely ready. Brooklyn does finish number one on the other end. Where's the Lakers? Number two. So we should meet in the conference finals if they make it all the way. Uh, I'm not scared of Phoenix or Minnesota. I'm not scared of Houston, but Houston made it. Maybe if they had Harden, I'd be scared. We play good defense on Oladipo. Shoot, I might even put. Of course, I got to look at the player stats, though. Paul George is the leading scorer of the season here. 26, six rebounds, five assists, two steals. Ugh. Uh, field goal percentage 49 43 from three 88 from the free throw line wow okay you got it. i mean uh, that's dope that's dope Kawhi leonard 25 six assists two steals almost a block a game lou will as a starter 16 and a half with 6.6 assists that's solid that's solid that's great six assists there six assists there five assists there uh drummond 13 rebounds i'd love him to get like 15 a game but he's only getting 30 minutes so that makes sense that makes sense. JaVel probably coming in and adding some nice rebounding as well. Marcus Morris, the sixth man, 13 points off the bench. Ibaka, 12 and 6 as a starter. What's his three-pointer? 33%. Uh, okay. I mean, it's respectable. You still got to respect his three-point shot out there. Reggie Jackson, 7 off the bench. JaVale, like I said, some decent rebounding off the bench in 20 minutes. Per 36 would be 12 and 12. You know, that's what he's coming in. Giving you that energy, giving you those rebounds. Batum. Is he the last guy off my bench? I thought Reggie was, but but Batum kind of just... Uh, I don't like it. I don't like Batum at all. Team stats, of course, we're number one by seven games ahead of the two-seed Los Angeles Lakers. Points per game, number two. The Nets beat us out on offense. Makes sense. It makes sense. They have a lot of offensive studs. It's the Nets, Clippers, and Lakers right there. A defense, though, 100 and 5.9 the lakers are there at 111 our differential is 17 points a game we're almost winning games by 20 points i wanted to look at assists per game since we technically don't have a true point guard um 29.2 we are good for third behind those top three teams i mean top two teams but the, the top three these are the top three teams in the nba right now low-key don't even want to make any moves against these uh houston rockets i think we should beat them i mean they have sterling brown at the small forward position they might take a couple games from us but overall i think maybe like a 4-2 a 4-2 4-1 
4-1 them. They did take game two from us. We're up against Utah. We got to go guard Donovan Mitchell. Make sure Paul George is on him 100% of the time. And I think they'll have a lot of trouble scoring. Eight points in that first series. Donovan Mitchell scoring 27. Bojan 14. Four for Royce O'Neal. Oh, 25 for Jordan Clarkson, though. There's their offense. There's their offense besides Mitchell. Uh, but they're they're, no, no, they're in trouble. Going to Mitchell, making sure he's always guarded by at least Paul George. That height is hopefully going to give him a, a bit of trouble. Hopefully a bit of trouble, and we get ourselves to the conference finals right here easily. Easily, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. How much did we beat them by? Game one, barely won. We barely won game one, but our guys did their thing. 34 for Kawhi, Paul George, 31, and 10 assists for him. 25 for Lou Will. I mean, they did their damn thing. Kawhi, 35, Paul George, 15. We still super low scoring game. Didn't matter. We pulled through. Paul George, though, choking again in the playoffs. I can't have that happening, even though we're kind of just destroying these teams. 127 to 102. 20 rebounds by Rudy. How many rebounds by Drummond? 16. Okay, they had a nice little rebounding battle over there. Game four, we beat them 132 to 118. Mitchell, 19 points in 37 minutes. They need a little bit more than that. And the leading score for us was Morris Sr. What? Now to see who we're up against here, it's got to be the Lakers. There's no way they gave up a 3-1 if they, they almost did. They almost did. It looks like they're kind of struggling, but uh, not a mess with the defensive settings on who I'm guarding. Or the coaching settings. All right, I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, if Marcus Gasol, Anthony Davis, wh whoever's switching. It could be a back on Davis or a back on Gasol. It could be Drummond on Davis or Drummond on Gasol. Uh, Paul George, I do want on Dennis. Kyle Pope, I don't think he's going to burn us too badly. So I'll leave Lou Will there. Kawhi Leonard, of course, guarding LeBron James. Will it be enough? It looks like the Lakers have been struggling, so please. Here we go, game by game. We really haven't been struggling. Yes, yes, absolutely perfect. Never mind. Um, Yes, just keep the lead. 3-1. We're in. We're in. Now it's all. Yay, we're not struggling at all. Drummond is the move. Drummond is the move. 4-1 Houston, which is honestly expected. 4-0 Utah. Kind of been in Oak. I'm... Very shocked at these playoffs, actually. No Denver. No Denver. I feel like I wouldn't have been scared to go up against any of these teams besides the Lakers. I don't know why. 4-1, 4-0'd, 4-1. We're up against that Brooklyn Nets big three of Kyrie, James Harden, and Kevin Durant. Now, this is where it gets weird. I don't know who to guard. I guess we got to try to stop James Harden with Paul George, and hopefully Paul George outscores him as well. Kyrie Irving and Lou Will, that's going to be an issue. Kevin Durant, uh, this is weird. Do I go small ball here? They have Capella. They trade for Capella. Okay. Damn near 30 by Kyrie. Damn near 30 by James Harden. 25 for KD. This is the best that I can do in defensive matchups. Um, the guards being guarded by my guards and then Kawhi Leonard on Kevin Durant. So then my bigs guard, whoever else uh, isn't being guarded. Um, it's got to be enough because I don't got anything else. I don't got anything. Oh, I don't got anything else to do out here. Uh, nothing different. I believe we should have home court advantage and we gave that up. We gave that up. 2-2 two -two, though. 3-2. Yes. Yes, we have two chances. Two chances to win an NBA championship year one here. Of course, it's not difficult. We already started with a great base of a team, uh, a beast team. Uh, we just traded for Andre Drummond, a rumored a rumored player to go to the Clippers. Will it be enough in this, in this game, or will we need a game seven? Will we need a game seven? So far, it's stayed close, but they do take the lead. It's going back and forth. An epic, epic game. Fourth quarter. They're on our tails, but we're right in front. We're, oh, it's done. It's done. NBA champions, Clippers, last season was seen as a huge failure for them considering they didn't even get to the conference finals. Well, look at the box score right after the ceremony. Who you think, who do you guys think is taking the finals MVP? The finals MVP, who's out here? JaVale's out here with Drummond? 
and Reggie Jackson. What is that lineup? What is that lineup? I have no idea, but we end up winning 129 to 111. Drummond gets traded. He wins a championship. Oh, did we win it? Wait, where did we win? We went, we won it in Brooklyn. Ibaka holding the trophy. We get JaVale McGee. We get Drummond to the team, and it's more than enough. Kawhi Leonard, the finals MVP, bringing a championship to the Los Angeles Clippers. Now to see what we did against these Nets. Clippers, of course, NBA champs. Kawhi Leonard, there are his final MVP stats. He didn't even, I mean, 51% from three is kind of crazy. Three steals as well is kind of crazy. Uh, he played well, as we expected. Now we go look at the box score for this matchup here. Since game one, game one, they took game one, right? They did take game one. We were at home. Uh, Paul George did his thing, though. He didn't choke for us game one. Lou Will, who choked? Kawhi. Kawhi was too busy trying to play some defense, or what was it? Well, what, what the heck? Five rebounds by Drummond. He choked as well. And four of those rebounds were offensive rebounds? <laughs> what? How do you get zero defensive rebounds? Did they not miss? They just didn't miss, did they? 11 of 14, 9 of 14, 7 of 15. Eh? Uh, they, they just destroyed us. Game two, though, we bring it right back, and we win by 20 points. KD does score 32. I mean, their big three went off, but nobody else helped after that. Kawhi Leonard, 31. Lou Will, 20. Oh, Paul George, 16. 5 of 17. 7 assists, 5 rebounds, though. 1 steal as well. 5 turnovers, though. He tried He tried throwing this one. He tried throwing this one. Drummond again. I want to look at his playoff stats. He only got 11 boards. Down from 13. His minutes improved. He just got less rebounds. Okay. I mean, I expect him to go crazy, but he did not go crazy still won an nba championship still it was enough for these los angeles clippers do they resign them i would think so right Kawhi, paul george drummond you build around those three and i'm sure other players that want to get a championship would join on this team on a cheaper contract maybe on a one year on a two year to try to get a ring uh drop a like graded for drummond drummond on the clippers is it enough is it enough in real life? I don't I don't even know. I don't even know, but it would be interesting, especially if they were to match up against the Lakers. The rebounding battle will be cool to see. Of course, Drummond doesn't match up to Anthony Davis's offense, but the rebounding battle will be cool. I'm not going to lie. Drop, like I said, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment down below. Any challenges you'd like to see? Any challenges you want, you've want? you made up and you want to see? Any challenges you've seen before from other, other rebuilders you want to see? Anything. I'm open to ideas in the comments, but as always, guys... Thanks for watching.